So now we grab a native queen bee to add it to the split. We have a prepared a cage for introduction. Have a little bit of sugar, uh, confectionery sugar and water on this small edge and uh, beeswax from foundation for the bees to release the queen bee when they are ready to, to release it. We'll open a mating nuke. Get that small high beetle trap out. And let's see on which of these two frames the queen bee is. Kind of hoping she is on this one. Okay, she lay eggs on this. And actually done a pretty good job drawing comb. I don't see it on this one. Although she laid eggs all over. Okay, there she is on the top center. We'll use this cage to grab it. Yep, just a second. She okay, you can see it. We'll put the frame back. Cap root. Nice. So put this frame back here. Now we will make the queen bee to go in the transport cage. Okay, she went there. So we don't touch it. We'll just let it in the, the other cage now. She went. Close the cage. And we'll go to the split. Okay. So, the big advantage of this uh, cage is that the queen bee has some sugar in case bees are reluctant to feed it, but also it uh, separated from the rest of the beehive with uh, beeswax. When the bees are ready to accept it, to accept the new queen bee, will chew and uh, free the queen bee from uh, uh, the cage. So we'll just make a space right in the middle. Okay. and we'll set it up like this just to make sure it has enough space for bees to really and you can see the bees are already checking the the queen bee on both sides so actually tomorrow we'll check if they release the queen bee or not. And see if they release the queen bee from the cage we set it up yesterday. And Looks like they do. Yep. Let me see if I can get a good angle. Yep, seems a good 
Uh, yep. Can you spread these two? Yeah, do you have it? Yep. Really. See if she's in there still or if she came out. No, it's only a worker. I don't think the video will show, but a couple of workers inside. No doubt for the candy that was in there. Oh, that's uh, done. Mm -hmm. Good.